Picture this, a young man, fresh out of college, staring at his first paycheck with a mix of excitement and confusion, how much to save, how much to spend, that was me a few years ago. Ah, the joy and terror of that first paycheck, it's like stepping into a whole new world, filled with both opportunities and traps. And that's when it hit me, I needed to figure out this whole personal finance thing and fast. But what is personal finance really? It's a question we all need to ask ourselves. Is it just about crunching numbers, making budgets, and saving for a rainy day? Sure, those are important, but personal finance is more than just managing money. It's about understanding our financial behavior, our attitudes towards money, and how these factors shape our lives. It's also about navigating through life's financial ups and downs, planning for the future, and making informed decisions. It's about making our money work for us, not just now, but in the long run. And most importantly, it's about aligning our financial decisions with our life goals and values. So let's dive into this together. Because personal finance isn't just about dollars and cents, it's about you, your life, and your dreams. Traditionally, personal finance has been all about managing money. But is it just that? I think not. Let's hop on journey beyond the balance in your bank account and delve into the deeper meaning of personal finance. It's not just about counting pennies and saving for a rainy day, but an evolving concept that intersects with our well-being, self-fulfillment, and individual goals. Imagine your financial journey as a winding road. Each dollar you save is a step forward, each investment you make is a leap towards a distant horizon, but the landscape around you, that's your life your dreams, your aspirations, your peace of mind, that's where personal finance really comes into play. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Financial anxiety. It's that gnawing feeling in your stomach when you think about your mounting bills or the future. It's real, and it's more common than you might think. In fact, financial stress can have a significant impact on our mental health. It's like a cloud that overshadows our daily lives, making it hard to see the sun on the horizon. But here's the thing. Personal finance is also about managing this anxiety. It's about understanding your financial situation, making informed decisions, and taking control of your future. It's about turning that cloud of financial anxiety into a clear, sunny day. And let's not forget the influence of our changing world. With social media showcasing lavish lifestyles and the economic systems constantly shifting, our perception of personal finance is constantly evolving. It's no longer about just making ends meet, but about achieving financial freedom and a fulfilling life. So, personal finance isn't just about the money in your bank account. It's about how that money affects your life, your happiness, and your future. If you're enjoying this video and found it insightful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content on personal finance. Let's embark on this journey to financial freedom together. Now let's make this personal. What does personal finance mean to you? Is it about saving for that dream vacation? Or maybe it's about having the freedom to pick up and move to a new city on a whim. Or perhaps it's about building a nest egg so you can retire early and spend your days sipping margaritas on a beach somewhere. The truth is, personal finance means something different to each one of us. And that's because it's shaped by our individual values and aspirations. For some, it's about achieving financial independence and retiring early, an idea that's been gaining traction, especially among millennials. For others, it's about conscious spending, or being mindful of where every penny goes, ensuring it aligns with their personal values and beliefs. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer here. Personal finance isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. It's a tool that helps you align your money with what matters most to you. It's about using your resources to live the life you want, not just the life you can afford. Let's talk about cultural and generational differences for a moment. The way you view money today might be very different from how your parents or grandparents viewed it. Why? Because each generation has its unique set of experiences and challenges that shape their perspective. For instance, baby boomers who experienced economic prosperity might prioritize saving, while millennials who came of age during the financial crisis might be more cautious about investing. On the other hand, cultural influences can also shape our financial priorities. In some cultures, for example, it's common to prioritize saving for education or to support extended family members. In others, spending on experiences or generous gift giving might be more valued. The beauty of personal finance is that it's just that, personal. It's about your life, your goals, and your values. So take a moment to reflect on what personal finance means to you. Your answer might just surprise you. Let's get practical. 
How can you define your own financial meaning? This is where the rubber meets the road. Crafting your financial philosophy isn't just about reading balance sheets or tracking expenses. It's about understanding your values, your dreams, and the kind of life you want to live. Think of it as your personal finance mission statement. It's a declaration of your financial goals and the principles that will guide you towards them. But how do you create this mission statement, you ask? Well, let's dive in. Firstly, it's crucial to get financially literate. This doesn't mean you need a degree in economics. It's about understanding the basics of budgeting, saving, and investing. It's about knowing how to manage your money, so it doesn't manage you. Next, let's talk about goal setting. Where do you see yourself in 5, 10, or 20 years? Do you want to own a house? Start a business? Travel the world? Your goals, big or small, should be the guiding light of your financial journey. Write them down, make a vision board, do whatever helps you visualize and commit to these goals. But remember, the journey towards financial freedom isn't just about the destination. It's about enjoying the ride. This is where your values come into play. What matters to you? Freedom, security, giving back to your community? Your financial decisions should reflect these values. If you value experiences over possessions, for instance, you might choose to invest in travel or learning a new skill rather than buying the latest gadget. And finally, explore different financial philosophies. From minimalism, which advocates for less is more, to the FIRE movement, that's financial independence, retire early, which encourages aggressive saving to achieve financial freedom as soon as possible. These philosophies can offer valuable perspectives and tools to shape your personal finance journey. Remember your personal finance philosophy is a compass, guiding your decisions so they align with your life's goals. But what about beyond the individual? How do our personal finance choices impact the world around us? Let's take a moment to consider the ripple effects of our financial decisions. Each financial choice we make, from the brands we support, to the investments we make, has a societal impact. This might seem daunting, but it's also empowering. By practicing responsible investing and ethical consumerism, we can influence the market, shaping it to reflect our values and priorities. Imagine for a moment that you are a drop of water. Alone you might seem insignificant, but when you join a river, you become part of a powerful force that can carve out mountains and create new landscapes. The same applies to our financial choices. When we make ethical, considered decisions, we contribute to a collective force that can influence industries, shape economies, and even change societal norms. And let's not forget the role of community in our financial well-being. Shared goals and communal support can significantly alleviate financial stress and anxiety. Whether it's a neighborhood savings group, a friendly investment club, or an online forum for budgeting tips, finding your financial tribe can make the journey towards financial health a lot less lonely and a whole lot more fun. But the story doesn't end there. We exist within a web of global financial systems that, in turn, impact us. From stock market fluctuations to changes in fiscal policies, these systems can influence our personal finances in myriad ways. That's why it's crucial to stay informed and adapt to these changes. But remember, you're not just a passive player in this game. Your choices, no matter how small they seem, can have a profound impact. So, personal finance isn't just a personal matter, it's a societal one too. Our choices can make a difference. So, we've come a long way from that confusing first paycheck, haven't we? But hey, the journey doesn't stop there. Personal finance, as we've seen, isn't just about dollars and cents. It's an evolving concept that's as personal as you and me, about our well-being, our aspirations, and our values. It's about shaping a financial philosophy that's in sync with our life goals. And guess what? The power to define what personal finance means to you is in your hands. You get to decide how to budget, spend, and invest based on what's important to you. It's about creating a balance between our present needs and aspirations. Remember, financial anxiety is real, but so is financial freedom. And the road to that freedom is paved with financial literacy and smart goal setting. So let's not shy away from money talks, instead let's embrace them, learn from them, and grow with them. So what's your personal finance story? I invite you to share your perspectives, engage in discussions, and together, let's build a positive financial future. And before you go, remember to hit that like button, if you found this video helpful and informative. Also subscribe to our channel for more content like this. With every subscription, you're joining a community that values financial literacy and positive growth. So don't miss out. Subscribe today and stay updated with our latest videos.